Hey everybody, welcome back to Two Dads React. My name's Clay, that's Corey. It's discovery time again. Uh, it is time for episode six. Am I right with six, Corey? I think so. Yes. It is six. A surprise for you, because I've been staying away from any spoilers, but I do know that this is a Burnham Tilly episode, which I am super excited for. So, Burnham and Tilly doing fun things, not in Starfleet garb. That's all I know. That's the only picture that I've seen as you're <laughs> as I'm scrolling through things on the internet. <laughs> and that's good. Because we got our we got our puzzle piece. We got another puzzle piece last time. And uh because we, we got it at the end after going through the giant space anus and finding the ISS Enterprise and all that good stuff. They got their little they got another piece. So we have like two more left. Maybe one more left? I don't know. I haven't looked at the shape recently. They may show us in the end. Op I think the opening intro still ha they've they, they've been adding the pieces uh, to one of the shots as we go throughout the season. So we may we'll, we'll see how many are left. But I'm assuming one, maybe two left because we only have like three episodes left. So we got we got wrap up to do too. We have to like yeah, solve the problem. I thought there was five pieces. Yeah, so we should be this should this could be it. I don't know. We I don't find, maybe, think they have, did they, they get three? four? I think they have three. I think they only have three. Hmm, okay, maybe there's two left. So it's episode six and then seven. Eh, that gives us time. You're right. We have time. It's probably more than it's probably two. We're okay. Yeah, because we had that one filler episode, basically, you know, where everything just was contained within the ship. And then we had the one last week with the ISS we, Enterprise. Yeah. And then what we had two pieces before we did the little time loop sequence thing. Yeah, we should be. Yeah. We should be getting there. I don't know. I'll tell you what, we'll watch the intro screen. Um, let's get into it. Everybody who's here at the channel, thanks for checking us out. If you're new here, do all the YouTube stuff below. Uh, if you're returning, as always, thank you very much. Check out all the links below. See what you got down there. Maybe there's something you like. And uh, yeah, we will crank up episode six right now. From these clues to mock you when you can't figure them out. I think this will work. This is trippy. Is there a test we've already run? I don't think so. The file's composition's generic. Yo, this director's like, techno speak is boring. We're adding fucking disco to this shit. Let's go. This is the coolest way to show this kind of uh, exposition. This is of the map to see what happened when it put men and... Let me guess, nothing. Uh-oh, she has to go to the quiet room. And include worlds that had severe droughts and would have needed rainwater alternatives. On it. <laughs> They're like, damn, she's locked in today. <laughs> she's like, just tell us the answer. You already know it's space, Jesus. And then, knowing the identity of the vile's creator might prove useful. There you go. You don't know everything, space, Jesus. I know it's eccentric of me, but I, I do love the feel of paper. I'm about to say, I was like, I ain't never seen paper. <laughs> 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 Send a message. I would never get used to that. Where you could just bring up people. No, like that I'd be cool as long as they were moving. But as soon as they just. And stayed like that for too long, like, nah. See, claro. Of course. Yes. <sighs> Scan yourself, Doc. It's always the cobbler's kids who go without shoes. <laughs> Can you confirm? Denopian weather towers. I like how they're holding paper. Like, what do I do with this? <laughs> this texture feels so weird on my fingertips. Water would need to be harvested in that particular way. Only one captain. Tatooine. Hello, no. What? Oh. Are yeah, you jumping off brand over there, homie? I just know <laughs> that you love me with Tatooine all the time. There's so <laughs> many planets. Yeah, like at that, for it being like a desolate planet, it was a major hub. They requested more time up here. I felt they were ready. Didn't necessarily mean today. No time like the present. <laughs> <laughs> And when would you like to get thrown <laughs> in the fire? <laughs> uh, not yet, but we are working on it. Okay. 
Well, while they get to the bottom of that. I love how they just like scuttled a Wozakun and Detmer. Just, they're gone. They're just gone. Come. Come. <laughs> <laughs> But the whistle speak lets them communicate across great distances. It's not uncommon to find in culture. Oh man, Kim will not be able to watch this episode, dude. <laughs> she hates Why? whistling. Hates whistling to a degree I have never seen in a person. Oh really? I didn't yep. even know that. <laughs> Shit, I love a solid whistle, man. Same here. <laughs> we could really use you at the Starfleet Academy. Well, don't tempt me. We could use you to have your show. I'll bet you that that little note hit after she said Starfleet Academy. If we wait when whenever the show comes on, it'll be part of the theme. I'll I'll I'm willing to bet a little bit of money on that because that was like a, a definite like th little theme behind it when she said the words. In the summit, you'll be warm. Sounds like they're going where we're going. What? Nope. A translator in like the way it translates those fucking whistles and all ominous sentences every time, <laughs> like nah. I wouldn't feel good going any direction listening to that shit. I'm like, fuck. This does not seem like a good way to go. Yeah. <clears throat> Great. I will uh prep everything and we can start in the morning. Oh god, like what terrible like mind hell are we about to get like <laughs> stuck in with these Oh dude. It's it's always it's it's never like a kind of bad thing with them. It's always awful. Got lost. May we join you? Of course. We are nearly there. She's like, you guys are real clean looking. You look clean. No, no, we never have. But for years we have longed to visit. You ain't quit talking so damn much. I'm just saying. You don't get your ass in trouble. Give these out. One to each. Quickly. Are they going to make a Sonic thing? I bet they are. It's going to be a Sonic... Uh... Yeah, like all the bulls at the right frequency. Yep. <laughs> I do that shit to get rid of kidney stones. <laughs> right. <laughs> it, it must suck to be in the middle of it not sick like yeah. Burnham's gotta be like uh there you go girl cough it up <laughs> yep yeah I'll do damn. it complete the journey of the mother come here journey of the mother come here it's a race <laughs> it's like this kid won't shut up It's gonna be rough. It was the kind of American gladiator shit you gotta go through. The difficulty of the journey is legendary. Most don't even finish. Bravo. <laughs> you have a word. Burnham's like, I'm gonna have to whoop your ass in this event, just so you know. Destroyed when the towers failed. So if we don't fix this one, everyone here will die. Thank you, Discovery. No pressure. Get to it. Just let Tilly stand in the woods with that beautiful red hair and the light hitting just the right way. <laughs> <laughs> it's like if the trip's not making you sick man just just ride with it bro <laughs> just ride with it <laughs> everything all right i think so my good and blessed co <laughs> shit's about to get <laughs> real real fast yeah in ancient time all of Halemna was fertile and gentle. You meant to trip and run. <laughs> Begin. Try not to fall behind. We have to get that clue. <laughs> I'd be like, Discovery, beam some water right into my mouth. All right. They beamed shit into Spock's eyes 900 years ago. You can beam some water into my mouth. Just bowls of water everywhere. You know, for a planet that's really not doing well for water, that's pretty messed up. Yeah, man, this trial's gotta be fucked up. Let's go, Tilly! <laughs> that girl can taste cool. colors now. 
It's like a yellow brick road of radiation. It really is. This tech well, that's red. I can't wait till the future. You'll be long dead before you have any of this. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you better bank for a solid reincarnation. <laughs> Like, I'm gonna break all your religion rules right now. Let's go meet the gods together. Well, that's a pretty cool thing to say to somebody. Fucking right. <laughs> Dehydrated out of your mind. <laughs> Let's go meet the gods together. <laughs> okay, that wasn't it. Let's try another isolating your chip king. This shit's about to get real weird. Yeah, we better start. Are we supposed to start sacrificing people and shit? To you both. Your sacrifice will bless her. Yeah, Tilly's like, uh, get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> well, that's terrifying. Fuck oh, yeah, dude, that'd be awful. The old lady gave you the clue, too, when she said she wanted to know what her and her friend would look like growing old, and her friend was definitely not there anymore. <laughs> Like, man, I should have been listening to your loony ass. Fucking whistling <laughs> people to their goddamn death. <laughs> <laughs> They'll take our breath and replace it with their own. You look frightened, like, compare. Oh, girl, I'm going to have to knock you the fuck out here in a minute. We're going to have to answer for the prime directive violation. And we will. We are not letting them die for no reason. Like, yo, bro, we are working for the man in black behind the time curtain, right. buddy. He this said, do anything. We got to kung fu our way into this shit. We should have been dropping 12, killing everybody. Let's go. <laughs> what? Yeah. How did you? Where did you come? I am a god known as Space Jesus. Why she got me look so freaky when she does it? <laughs> gonna fucking haunt this man. <laughs> <laughs> this dude's. <laughs> oh, fresh Jesus air. She just cursed that whole planet. Prime directive, what? There goes your religion. There goes everything you hold dear. He's like, man, I'm gonna get these guys to turn these other fucking things on. I'm gonna tell everybody I did it. <laughs> <laughs> she told me the sacrifices are necessary to bring one closer to the gods. He's like, should we put to death? <laughs> The she is a out. heretic and a traitor. <laughs> right. She's the first one to go as soon as this is over. All right, one boy's just making plans on the back of his head. <laughs> We're gonna do all this when this is over. Yeah, and they got that little fucking charismatic lunatic to spout it all off at the bottom. I'm about to make you even happier that you saved me. <laughs> She's like, I figured it out. I gotta admit, Homeboy's taking this whole change of everything <laughs> exceedingly well. Ooh, that's pretty. Nice. Yeah, it looks wild. Courtesy of Tower Number Five. <laughs> oh yeah, it's so soothing. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> nice. That was an interesting one. Right? That was a good little time. A good little... They definitely... Uh, I read an article um, today, and people were kind of shitting on it, that uh, that they went real, real episodic in this season because everybody was bitching that it was an over... You know, so Discovery doesn't feel quite like the, the Discovery used to, we were used to because it's very, like... 
there is an overarching plot, but we have like episodes of what's ha- like we have to do this. We're going to have a problem. We're going to figure out the problem. We're going to fix the problem. We're going to get what we want. We're going to move on to the next one. And I, I'm kind of seeing that, but I'm OK with it. I don't think it's ruining Discovery. I mean, Discovery has always been I think we talked about it last week. Um, it's always been a bit different but I don't hate the episodic tone of it. It kind of sucks that we're getting it on the final season because we do like the episodic stuff that that uh, Strange New Worlds puts out. So I don't know, but it's just a fun... It's it. I feel more... And I don't want to say it feels more Star Trek-y, but, you know, it's the, way it, it's the way we used to watch it back in the day, the way I used to watch it back in the day. Like, oh, look, here's a problem. Let's fix it and move on. I don't... I don't really think that's the issue with this version of Trek. I think the issue with it is, it's just, you can tell that whatever it was meant to be, right? Or it's like putting on an outfit. It, you look at it and you're like, man, something's not quite right. Like, and you mm-hmm. can't ever figure out what it is. You go through like fucking 90 things. You're like, oh, it's just me. Like, that's what it is. It's just the show in itself could never, whether it was writing, directing, acting, everything, people, it just never, ever, like, fully clicked. And there was always just something that was off. And You're not wrong. I don't think you're wrong. That that is a very... Yeah, like, I think that's... I think that's what kills it. And then and what makes it seem even worse is Pike happened within it and then branched out and was like... (laughs) Yo, like I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty fucking good, bro. And it was like, what happened? Right, right. Yeah. You wish you were me, don't you? You wish you were me. Mm. Yeah, that's exactly how it is. Yeah. Um. And the and to expand on that, which is a, which is a, you know, tells you something about discovery. There are a lot of parts about discovery that everybody likes. So it's just like you said, it, it's like you could never get them all to line up at the same time. There's characters we love. There's settings we love. There's storylines we love. There's tech that we love. There's timelines that we love. But it's like they, they, it was never all where it was like, yes, you know, it's all right there and ready to go. It was always like one was was better than the other or not. And it was one was greater than the other. And so I, I always felt like. There are there are parts about Trek that I about Discovery that I absolutely love, but there but at the exact same time I'm going like oh come on, like can we you know there's like this other thing that's really you know bugging me in the back of my head at the same moment and it never kind of lined up and I I get what you're saying there. Yeah, I think I think Discovery allows you more of a chance to get out of it where. All the other Trek I've seen, and especially Pike, to me, kind of keeps you invested. Like, it wants you in it. But this version seems like at any moment you can just, like, grab your phone and go, huh, ah, you know, like... Let's see what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, you know, like, you don't, you just... Like, oh, oh I don't know. on the like, screen, put my phone down. Yeah, it, it's... It, I don't know, dude. It's, it's like uh, just a bad a bad sequence of events in a book where you're like, man, I love all the characters and love all the people, but like this story just kind of sucks. <laughs> you, you know? <laughs> and that's, I think that's what happened with this. Nothing, right. nothing just came together to be your memorable thing. It with never, the show. it never had the complete cohesion that ends up happening to the other Star Treks, like where it's, everything kind of lines up and you're, you're in it to win it with every single character and every single story and, and where everybody goes moving forward. Um, yeah, I, I'm with you there. Yep. But we're with the show till the end of the season. We've got, did I say there's 10 episodes? Am I right on 10 episodes? I'm pretty sure there's 10 episodes. I don't know. I'm sure people will correct me in the comments. I'm pretty sure there are. Uh, so we still have uh, uh, four episodes left, one piece of the puzzle, and some other craziness to happen. And I guess we're going to Beta Zed. Which could be cool because I don't think we've ever been there as a planet. Did we go there for Loxana Troy's wedding? Nah, I don't know. Someone can tell me in the comments below because I don't know if we've ever actually been to the planet of Beta Zed uh, on screen. So that could be cool. 
because I don't think we, yeah, so we'll, we'll see. I don't know. There was Beta Z writing on the last, uh, attached to the last piece of the clue, so maybe that's where we're going finally um, to meet Maul and Locke. It's kind of why I feel like they jumped the ship away. They're like, we're not going to tell you where we're going next, even though maybe it is Beta Z. I don't know. We'll find out. I don't know, man. I don't. It almost seems like they're going to go to wherever Ma and Locke are and then have to come to some sort of agreement kind of vibe, right? It's definitely like, going to be a race to the final piece. Yeah, or I don't. They're going to both find the technology and then it'll be like a. It'll be like a nobody can have this. We're glad that you found this, but this is what happens, and it's gonna like blow itself up. Like, ah, can't have it. <laughs> yeah, I definitely feel that's the the end game. Is no matter what they find or what it is, it's either gonna be one of these things where someone gets sacrificed, and we're like, and we don't know what it is because they're just like, I'll go behind the closed door, and it's like, oh shit, they're dying, kind of thing, mm-hmm. or. or both some party's going to realize that they're like, like, dude, we just, we can't let anybody else get a hold of this thing. Like I, they made five clues, but we're going to destroy it. There's right. just, it Nobody can't exist anymore. Yeah. Right. She's I would like to completely... see, I would like to see glasses guy come in and just basically lay the law down where he's like, I don't give a fuck. Like We're I told you this. what to do, you found it. It's mine now, right. and, and so then, it leaves but that's it leaves Vernon everybody with that it. idea. No, no, I wanted to take it because then it leaves everybody with the idea of like, all right, what's this dude going to be doing now? Like he's going to start <laughs> popping up through fucking trek all over the place. Maybe. Yep. I hope she. I hope yeah, she I destroys to- it. I hope she at the end goes against his wishes. So I don't trust him as far as you can throw him. He's creepy and secretive. Ah. I know, dude. Like, I want him to be the doorway to, like, R-rated Trek. Good luck with right. that, bud. You can dream that shit all day. You're lucky Marvel ever got there. <laughs> he, a Ryan Reynolds, he is not. <laughs> yeah, but it's like... It, why not? You know, like, I, and I get it. Like, you can have... And Marvel does it, too. Like, you can have all of the fun, happy-go-lucky superhero shit but you can also take a section that's i mean fucking cartoons did it with like adult swim they're like all right dude like we get it you want to see somebody get beheaded we're gonna make it and i get it but in this day and age of tv and streaming and paying for it they're gonna make it dark at some point and i (laughs) and i like i like the glasses guy being having all of the weird Eh, this alien spits acid and clones itself kind of shit locked behind closed doors. It's just, it's like writing itself to say, all right, cool, here's all the weird shit, and it's a little more dark. Like, it doesn't have to be, like, fuck you and all that bullshit, but it's just, you know, like, scary tales of Trek. Whatever, (laughs) right? Like, Right. I'd watch it. Don't get me wrong. I'd watch it if it was rated R Trek. I don't mind. It doesn't bother me. Let's do it. But I don't think the franchise will ever go there. Like I, I, we're lucky that we got cursing in like the last, the last few movies, you know, data saying, Oh shit. And things like that was like, Ooh. And you know, they curse in discovery. They used to actually this season, they really haven't that much. Like the, 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 the first officer kind of does a little bit here and there, but other than that, then nobody's dropping F bombs or anything. So, it's not been this season, so I don't know what they're doing, but yeah, I I'd be there for it. Who knows? Yeah, it'd just be fun. It would. All right. Well, thank you everybody for tuning in, watching us watch this. Uh, we appreciate you every time you come back, and yeah, we will catch you guys for uh, episode seven here in a little while. Thanks. See you guys. <laughs>